To measure maximal performance, you really have to elicit maximal performance. Frogs are amazing animal athletes. Uh, we're all familiar with frogs' ability to jump, and their jumping is just a spectacular example of acceleration. And we can use frogs as a model uh, for understanding how muscles power these really rapid ballistic motions. Frog muscles are much like our muscles and the muscles of other animals, so things that we learn about frogs tell us about how movement works in general. So there seem to be pretty good consensus in the scientific literature that a bullfrog can jump about a meter. We came across a report uh, in the Guinness Book of World Records of a record set in the 1980s by a contestant in the Calaveras County Frog Jumping Jubilee who jumped a frog a total of six and a half meters in three jumps. And that was uh, startling and a little bit troubling for us because for a number of our studies, the idea that we are getting maximal performance is really important. And we just couldn't, uh, we just couldn't quite make sense out of these frogs jumping that far. And so what you're going to see today is the top 50 qualifiers that will be jumping the frogs. Uh, once... After we arrived, we realized very quickly that this contest was uh, a very serious undertaking for the contestants. And the frog jockeys uh, had a very finely perfected means of making a frog jump far. Two and two and a half. jockeys would hold the frog with its legs dangling downwards just a few inches above the pad and then release them. And as the frog hit the ground, the jockey who'd been in a crouched position behind the pad would lunge towards the frog, both of their arms outstretched, with their face coming towards the frog and either yell or blow on the frog. The motivation of the frogs and optimal conditions for jumping were crucially important for getting maximal performance out of these animals. It was kind of a surprising place to find ourselves, trying to collect uh, scientific data to understand locomotive performance in frogs. And what the fair afforded us was the opportunity to study a very large number of animals. And it turned out to be really fruitful. And I think it tells us that we can find answers to some of our questions in surprising places.